Oh. Oh. Oh no. That is just not pleasant. That must mean I'm back in Minnesota. Hello and welcome back to another episode of I'm Probably a Little Broker Than You. Today, I'm embarking on a special adventure. What is that, you might ask? Hmm. Let's think. I have a camera. I have ice fishing rods. I have knowledge of how to fish. One key factor that I'm missing is a reliable truck. So today, I'm going to embark on the adult adventure of trying to find my perfect dream truck. It's going to be exciting. Uh, I'm looking at trucks. I'm leaning towards one. Uh, I'm not going to give too much away. Let's, let's go look at it. It's, it's a big green machine. It'll match my boat. Let's, let's just go look. Oh, the old faithful. Why do I live in Minnesota? The roads are absolutely horrible right now. A drive that should have taken me 25 minutes is taking me close to 50. So this is awesome. But I can't complain, I'm going to look at a car. I'm just gonna suck to test drive a brand new car in this crap, but I guess I'll get a good gauge on how good it actually is. <laughs> Putting it to the test on day one. So this is the first truck that I'm looking at. It's a 2013 F-150. It's really nice on the inside. Wasn't sure if I was gonna be a fan of the tan interior, but honestly it's not, it's not that bad. The one thing I don't like really is that there's no slider rear window. It's kind of a big thing for me when I got musky rods and whatnot, but you know, it's not the end of the world. When I'm traveling with musky rods, I'll probably end up having my boat anyway. Um, the biggest thing for me is that it has this topper on it, which is really nice. For when I'm strapped for cash and need a place to stay, I might just throw a little bed in here. Of course, it needs to be cleaned out. Yuck, I'm not gonna sleep on that. Ugh. I was under the impression that it had a backup camera, so I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't. But let's just see how it drives. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. All right, well, we just got back from our test drive. Yeah, it's a really nice truck. It drives nice. Uh, I really like the feel and the sound of a V8 after driving an EcoBoost for a little while and after driving my V6 for so long in my Nissan. Um, this is definitely not a Nissan. It's a lot more powerful. I'm really upset about it not having a, a backup camera and I don't really like the fact that some paint missing here and uh, the slider window. But that's honestly the only negatives about this truck. It's still a high contender on my list, but I'm still gonna hop around and check other things out. I have a couple more trucks on my list that I wanna look at before I make a commitment. And I don't know, let's go check those other ones out. All right guys, well I'm still at the same dealership. I got suckered into uh, test driving another car. This one's still in my price range. It's got the V8 and it's a uh, FX4. It's a couple years older, but it has less miles somehow, so that's good news. I'm gonna get behind the wheel of this thing and see how I like it. Obviously the V8 from 2011 and 2013 probably didn't change much, but uh, I don't know. The inside of the car comes with a lot of different features. Like I got that nice slide out window right here in the back, which will be nice for the musky rods. And then as you can see from the inside, this thing is just decked. Wow, look at all that room. Crew cab, nice. Same deal, we're gonna go to the yeah. same Yeah, we might go just make it a, we might not go as, uh, as, as long. Yeah. <laughs> Catch your phone, you can answer your calling. 
It's got like the voice command. It, blue, it already has Bluetooth in it? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So. Then you can plug it into it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <sighs> Initial thoughts on the FX4. Friggin' nice truck. It does have a lot more. I don't know what you really call them, add-ons, amenities, really, I don't, I mean, you, you call them amenities when you're living in a place, but I will be living out of my truck, so I guess it is amenities. Um, it has the rear slider window, it's got leather seats, it's got a backup camera. I don't know, I liked the feel of the green one, but I also really liked the white one. I'm kind of like torn between the two right now. Um, the, uh, the FX4 is really nice, it has all the nice leather and everything. Um, it just felt like more of a prestigious car, if you will. And I don't really know what I'm looking for. They both had two very different feels. They had the same engines, but right now I'm kind of on the fence about both of them. I liked the, I liked both of them really. I gotta, I gotta kind of give it some thought and break down what, what I really want out of a car. Um, both have six and a half foot beds, which is awesome. The white one doesn't come with a topper, which kind of sucks, so I'm gonna have to front some money and get a topper for it. Um, and it is a little more expensive, but being said, it also only has 77,000 on it as compared to 95,000. We're gonna go check out a couple more, but uh, I think either one of those two cars is gonna be the one that I take home. All right, guys, it's a new day. Um, of course, with a new day, I found a new truck. We're gonna be driving for about 50 minutes today. My uh, my old man and I, my old man's joining me today. Say hi, Dad. Yo, we're, road uh, trip. Road trip. We're, uh, we're heading down to southern Minnesota to go test out a different truck. Uh, I really liked the white one yesterday, but I found one that's almost identical that's just a year newer and it's gray and it's 50 minutes away, so I'd be stupid to not go try it out. What could it be? <laughs> Me and the pops made it down to Faribault and we're gonna go check out this truck. Let's go. Engine warm or something. Probably a heater. Uh, heater for him. You gotta pop the hood, don't you pop? A little worrisome right there. All right, well, initial thoughts. Looks pretty good. Wow, this is gonna be horrible. There it is. Looks pretty good. Uh, there's some rusting going on on the on the cab corners, which is pretty normal for an F-150 that's been in Minnesota its whole life. But I don't know. I don't know what to compare it to. Uh, but we're gonna see how it drives. I'm gonna turn the radio down so we can at least hear the engine. See if there's any squealing or anything going on. What do you think? What do you think? Initial thoughts? It's well worth the 55 mile drowner Faribault. Yeah. I like it in first uh, look. Yeah. Looks like she's ready to rock. Let's, Let's give, her, give her a roll. Let's give her a roll. Yep, just go past that. South Faribault Lee. Drop her up on the on ramp and see how she performs. Feels the same thing as she did yesterday or feeling anything different? Initial driving. Feels pretty similar. Pick up and. Yeah. Stop and starting. All right. Well, we just left that truck. Nice uh, truck. Nice truck. Nice but the, people. Nice truck. Nice people. But the uh, the rust was a little bit too much on it for me. It was pretty gross. If you, I don't know if I got it on video or not, but like right on the uh, right on the trim, it was actually pulling out on the uh, the back passenger side, like. On the bottom, it was rusted out so bad the uh, the trim was popping out. So that would be annoying. I don't really want to spend a bunch of money on a truck that's rusting out. So from what I remember on the white one yesterday, I didn't check those exact spots, but I remember it not having that much rust. It's, it being a New York car, I don't think it's uh, going to be nearly as bad as a truck that's had its whole life in Minnesota. So we're gonna go back and look at that one right now. Tonight could be the night that you get the white the white night, but I guess we won't know until we get up there. Gotta be patient. Find the right one. Do your research, hope for the best, plan for the worst. We'll find one. Word of the wise right there. And just like that through traffic, we drove an hour and we're at the original dealership that's got the old white knight. So, let's check it out, see what we can do and see if we're gonna walk home with the truck today or drive home. Yeah, I didn't even think yesterday to look at the, I always look at this. I freaking space yeah, yesterday. Spot, you know, before they went to aluminum, that's uh, definitely one of the spots that... Uh, it was getting it the worst, yeah. yeah. But... 
cool. Turn it off. Battery? No. What was that? The battery. It's fine. Can't memorize all the cars here. <laughs> <laughs> See anything over there? I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I'm looking. The head gasket. Yeah. You want to look for all around the scene for any oil dripping, any buildup, any you see corrosion and like wet spots from oil coming out. So right on this, you're talking? Sure. I'm a fan of white, so I I like it. Yeah. I mean, look at it. It's the same truck. Well. Just like that, I think she's the one. Um, I'm gonna go inside now and I'm gonna sign off some paperwork and sign my life away, but I'm gonna be the owner of a new, fresh FX4. It is a very nice truck after going through a lot of different trucks this week. Um, I didn't even film half the ones I went through. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be rolling around in the white night for a little while now. So cool. So excited right now! I'm so freaking excited. Let's go! God, it's sexy. I don't deserve it. I honestly don't deserve it. Well, just like that, it's done. And what more than to crest in the new, freshly cleaned and freshly detailed truck than eating a big greasy Culver's cheeseburger in it? I didn't. I didn't expect it to really. I did not expect to be getting a new truck this week. Oh, this is a lot to take in right now. And I can't say thank you enough to the people at Ford and to my dad for coming along with me and helping me along the way with picking out different options and learning how to deal with finances and getting down payments on the car and insurance and not to get the freaking warranties. I mean, this is unreal. So dad, I know you're watching this. Thank you so much, my first big boy. My first big boy purchase ever. And I, I appreciate it, thank you. Mmm. Oh, I haven't eaten a thing all day, so this burger tastes like a prime rib steak to me right now. It was time somebody did it, you know? Sobe, if you're watching this, you're next, buddy. Ah, I can't believe it, I, look, I cannot believe it. It's a friggin' dream truck. Thank you, God. Thank you to all the support of my family. Thank you to everything that lined up. This is like, this has been a goal of mine to get a new truck for a while. And I can't believe that the day is here that I was able to get something that was this close to my dream truck. This is. This is a road tripper's dream. There's huge amounts of space in the back for when I have friends. There's leather seats, they're heated. It's just un unbelievable. For a 2011, this thing is in mint condition. There's little to no rusting on the outside. All that's left to do is get a topper on it and I'm ready to go. So this thing's gonna be using a lot of adventures and I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss how clean it looks, but you know, gotta get out in the field and use it, so. But thank you guys so much for tuning in on this adventure. I'll catch you on the next episode. And uh, until then, tight lines. Until then, cheese curds. Come on.